One of the best parts about design for me is definitely doing the shirts and the merch and all these things that I do for different companies and for different people and for myself. And I, that's like my favorite part. I love that so much because then you get a physical product with something you made on it. You didn't have to make the physical product, but you made the art that's on it. One of the things that um, I wanted to start doing on this channel is I wanted to start looking at YouTuber and like Twitch streamer and stuff like that. I wanted to start looking at their merch. While I think you have every right to support every single streamer that you want to, you can do whatever you want and support them in a way, I think a lot of them, you know, the, the merch is kind of dying off. I don't know why, but I feel like the, the effort put into merch is very minimal now. If, it, if that's how it has to be, that's how it has to be. This is in, in no way a direct criticism of the streamer themselves. I'm pretty sure that most big streamers and stuff have hired a company or somebody to take care of this for them, unless they're very involved in design. Like uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure a few of them actually designed their own their own merch line. So today we're going to dive in and take a look at a specific group of uh, well, how, how would you put them? Misfits on the <laughs> on the on the YouTube space. This is my official merch review for the Scuff Dot Store. Let's hop in. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started, everybody. I don't want you to think again that this is a criticism of the YouTuber themselves. Most of these YouTubers I actually watch, I enjoy. Fitz and, and Swagger Souls are really funny commentators and I think they're, they're very skilled in what they do. This is only a criticism of the design, the styling, the sourcing of the clothing line, the merch line, okay? That's all this is. Don't come at me saying I hate them. I actually really like these guys. We are now on the scuffed.store website so this is the uh, this is kind of your introduction to what your clothing line is about first impressions i love it actually i like that they have these flags this cool little like idea of um of it being like a utopia sort of cyberpunk look to it honestly it's really cool the constant animation is really cool i like that that's happening let's look through okay they have a bunch of they have a bunch of cool stuff oh i like that they do these weird um promotional things for them where they put all the the design behind it that's really cool so the website itself is really good i love the flags and everything i i like that a lot i'm not i'm not here to judge the the website though as a merch experience i guess though the website is this is probably like a one of the best websites i've seen for a merch store this is really well done and I like that it's simple. There's not much else going on. You just have all these buttons and that's it. Uh, let's hop into the shop. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at uh, kind of the overall experience of shopping here. Pricing wise, uh, this is a hat, this is a hoodie, this is a t-shirt. This is perfect. These are, I think, this is like the products that we'll be looking at mostly. 26 euros for a hat. That's, that's around $32. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. I've bought merch for that. I think this hat that I'm wearing now is about $32. Scuffed Nation's hoodie. 44 euros. Oof. That's around 50 bucks. I guess I, I, we're going to have to look at the material. We're going to have to look at what it is. Um, T-shirt, 26 euros. Not bad. Okay, that that's that's an acceptable price. Let's keep looking. Uh, oh, all right. Well, instant problem. Um, they only have nine pieces. This is it? This is your store? This is the official store for like five YouTubers. Nine pieces? All right, I mean, maybe maybe they take a lot of time to design these. I'm trying not to look at the design right now and be judgmental, but maybe they take a lot of, a lot of time to design these, who knows? Well, let's go in. Let's start at the beginning with this United Scuffed Nations hat, okay? Um, right away, I can see their inspiration is the United Nations. That's, uh, it makes sense, uh, you know, I like, I, I do like the blue on blue. I think the light blue really synergizes well with that navy. This orange is okay. I'm not usually a fan of orange on navy, but that's not bad. Like that's more of a gold, I guess, right? Okay, and then they do this little this little falcon, eagle on the back. All right, all right. I, I don't know what that's for, but uh, okay. I, I can understand, I can understand it. So, you know, over, I mean, overall, it's, it's not a bad, wait a minute, wait a minute. Really guys? Okay, to the designer who did this, I want to know what the reasoning for making these two different color oranges was. I, it's so bad looking. Looking at it from the side right now, 
this hat looks like it came off of like a like a dollar store rack somewhere that is awful Ugh. get your oranges right man the thing is is yeah you can make all the claims you want like this is this was the logo sure but then make this the same color as this like it doesn't matter this should have been the same color maybe maybe the website is wrong and they are the same color all right i'll give them that maybe that's what it is maybe the the website the little mock-up that they have here is wrong but that ugh. okay and we went over the price it's about 26 euros it's not terrible all right 100 uh, percent bio wash chino twill okay all right unstructured six panel low profile dad hat basically not bad not bad I, I the the quality of it is pretty good all right so the pricing makes sense overall with pricing and everything brought into account here um this gets a four. I don't know what happened here with with this and this. If that is not the case and somebody has this hat and both colors are the same, this would this would definitely get more of like a five or a six. But this is really, that is just awful to look at. The other reasons I'm giving it such a low score is because it's just, it's, it's aerial font with, you know, or maybe, maybe gothic. Gothic font with just a ripoff of the UN symbol. Maybe the minimal style here is good. I hate the EST stuff too, so that doesn't help me either, but this isn't terrible. This isn't a terrible design. It's just not one I would wear. So this, this would not be one I would purchase, no. All right, so I'm starting to notice a pattern between these. I think this is like a merch drop, or it's supposed to be. Um, let's look at the United Scuff Nations hoodie. Let's, uh, let's read about it first. So we have, it's 44 euros. Not terrible, not a terrible price. Overpriced, I think, but not a terrible price. 10 ounces, it's pretty light. 70% um, cotton, 30% polyester, cool. That's that's actually pretty good. Wait, that's kind of a good blend. You want more of a 70-30 blend. A 50-50 blend is never good. All right, catch a fly. Okay, so, oh, embroidered front logos. Okay, all right. Well, that, that helps the price make more sense even. Okay, screen printed back. That You don't need to... You, for, for future reference, for anybody making a store, you don't need to say that it was screen printed. <laughs> Got him. Bitch. Metal eyelets. Okay. I mean, that's not really a brag either. You don't you really need to put that kind of stuff. Um, people are more interested in this. The weight, the blend, um, and if there is a special print style. If there's not, then don't do anything, you know? So the front is basically the same. Oh my God. They aren't the same orange. They aren't the same orange. I understand this is a logo and like sometimes your logos may have different colors than the other things on your shirt, but that, okay, let's go to the back. Okay, I like this. I do. I like when there's a big print on the back and I don't know why. It just makes me feel, it makes me feel good. I like it. Guff's Worldwide, Scuff Worldwide. Okay, so they're, they're just doing a repeat around a circle here, around the globe with, I like that they kind of did multi-blue here. Like you see how there's three different colors of blue. I like that. That's really cool to put on a navy shirt. That actually really like makes it stand out more than it normally would. Wait a minute. So the orange here is the same as the orange here, but on the front, it's not the same orange. What? Global peace and domination? I don't know. That must It must be a joke. Again, with the EST, but whatever. I'll let that slide. This back is pretty good. I, I don't mind this, actually. This is kind of the design that, that is good about this. Is this and this cool thing right here above the global peace and domination. This cool, what are those, like churches or something? Those are really cool. Mild criticisms, you know, I guess here and there. But it, it's very solid as a back. This one gets a much higher rating. This this probably gets a six. This gets a six out of 10. This is not bad. The problem is, is it would get a higher score. It, no, yeah, it would get a higher score if this, but I'm, I'm already overly mad about it. But the fact that this orange and this orange don't match, piss me off. Like that, ugh, ugh. Okay, we're moving on. Next piece is the United Scuff Nations T. I'm not gonna look at it. It's the same thing. Actually, no, let's look at it. Let's take a look. Um, okay, so it's exactly the same. Screen printed back, embroidered front logo. So those aren't the same oranges as we know. This gets the same rating. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. This gets the same rating. This gets a six. The scuffed Boston. Okay, Boston hoodie. Okay, so what it looks like is this is them trying to make money back on a tour that was canceled by the virus. Bought a ticket to the show but got canceled out after buying. Reply to your receipt email and proof of purchase and we'll refund you 30%. 30%? Like, you should re be refunded. Never mind. That's something else. Um, okay, let's get into the design. 
I love their logo. The scuffed logo is super cool. I've always liked it. Boston with like that kind of like chalk almost drawing style or, or like, you know, like a spray paint sort of look is cool. You know, kind of edgy, kind of like, ooh, you know, we we tag shit. <laughs> This is just kind of whatever, honestly, as a, as a, as a sweatshirt. Like if you were going to go to the Boston show or something, um, this would be maybe what you want just so you had this idea and, and a memory from what you were going to go to. But I mean, it's nothing really that special. It, it's just a, a map with some X's on it. <laughs> I went to the Misfit and all I got was secondhand high and a dumb hoodie. That joke's kind of lame. Honestly, the hoodie's lame. Like I, I like the I like the color. The color here is really good. The white, yellow, black. I love it. The shirt's kind of dumb. Um, I don't know. What are these? What are, what are these doing here? Like there's no, there's no point for these two. What are these crosshairs for them to be here? I feel like they were just added as a end design choice. Like if you're gonna add something, I kind of I I feel like it sometimes need to have some form of synergy with the whole piece. Uh, it's not a bad design. I don't want to say that. Five out of ten. It's. Ugh. I expected more. Oh, 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 hello. What is this beautiful baby? This is the fire rescue long sleeve. Okay. Official uniform for fire related antics in and around your neighborhood. Extremely flammable. Serious pyro should consider a second in case the first goes up in flames. Oh, cool. So they did like a fundraiser for the um, Australian bushfires. Awesome. Okay. Credit where credit's due. Good for you guys. I'm just going to say it now. This is the best piece I've seen so far. Look at this, this logo, put that, put that logo on the hat, put that logo with the M on the hat and I'll buy it. That's awesome. That is really, it's so simple, but knowing that it's misfits like that, that's really cool. I think my problem with the globe and the other pieces is the fact that it just feels so generic. It feels like, Oh, well, here's a globe. <laughs> You know, and just threw it on there. Like it wasn't anything special. This is special. I really like that. I really like that. Bravo designer. I don't, I've never understood the Japanese Korean writing, but whatever, it looks cool here. I like it a lot. The logo with the, with the extended out globe is, you know, their standard logo. I like it. Not a fan of whatever this is. It just kind of looks dirty. Looks like somebody just put tape on it. Um, but this front is so sick. I love it. Okay. Let's, let's look at the back. Yes. All right. Yeah. It goes all the way up to the shoulder. Sweet. I love it. And this back. Mm. Beautiful. I just like looking at it. Like I get excited looking at it. Like I'm, the, somebody took some time with this piece. Uh, let's go over it piece by piece then. So the top here, the, scu the scuffed with the, with the globe already said, I really like that. And I'm glad that piece of tape isn't there. I don't know what that was for. Again, I don't understand the Korean Japanese writing, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge on that worldwide operations. Okay. Whatever. Like the, the, I like the font synergy a lot here, how it's kind of just all extended out, just like how the globe is, how it's all stretched. Like it looks really cool. The orange and black, like the, the what is it, the two-tone? I love the two-tone imagery here. This is really cool. This is the coolest part though. The fact that they superimposed fire in this, like over top of everything like that, outside of the frame of the picture to kind of make it feel more like fire because if it's just in a picture, oh well, who cares? But that's really cool. That's really, really cool. I love that. There's that piece of tape again. I mean, I guess it looks good here because it's all kind of gridded out. Not a fan of this. It doesn't match with anything that's going on here. It just looks off. And what's it say? Scuffed Brigade. Okay. Okay. I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to feel like uh, you're part of a team, but I don't like this like triple shadowed out piece. Not at all. But that doesn't take away from how cool this, this shirt is. This man, I can't do this on my first review, but I would give, I would give this piece a nine out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10. The only thing keeping me from a, from a 10 out of 10 is probably this here. Cause I don't like it. And that piece of tape on the front. I don't like that. This is, this is, I would very much consider buying. I can't cause it's out of stock apparently, but design more stuff like this misfits and I'll start buying this stuff. This is really, really well done. Way to go. Bravo to your designer. Um, buy them an extra cookie. All right. So next we have the scuffed worldwide gradient globe hoodie. Overall, I like the color scheme. I always love purple to blue sort of gradients. Uh, that it's, it's just, they feel very calming and beautiful. It just feels beautiful in your head. Like just looking at it, it looks beautiful. So that looks good. Um, I love the, uh, this has to be embroidered. 
Is it? It doesn't say. This looks embroidered. I really like that. I like when there's an embroidered piece here on my sleeve. Um, makes me feel, I don't know, makes me feel like I have quality on. I love that. Um, this is probably screen printed though, but that's, it doesn't matter. That's still cool. If I was going to design this, I would have demanded that that be a patch. I would have demanded that that be like a lightweight patch. That would have been really cool. Oh, they even have a hood print. Okay, that's cool. That must be embroidered. I'm assuming that's Asian writing, some form of it. I would say that's not Japanese. It might be Japanese. I think it's Japanese. But uh, okay, I still don't understand what, what all that's about. I wonder if it's like there's high fashion standards in those places and maybe that's what it is. This is the logo that I want on the fire tee. This is awesome. This is so dope. Like without that tape, this is such a good logo. Solid, I know what it is when I see it logo. So far, love it, love it. Okay, cool, cool. I don't really have anything bad to say about this, just like my personal criticisms. I mean, the plane with the, with the, with going like this around the globe, that's cool and all, but it doesn't seem necessary. I mean, no, it does work. It works really well. I take that back. This works really well. I do like the color scheme here. I love that the scuffed is, um, is in italics and it's black in the middle and white around the side. It, that really makes it kind of subtle in the background, but also off. So it's really cool. I, I like that. It, may, it really made my eyes do like a second guess as to what I was reading. Really well done. This is a great example of framing in design. So if you see, you have the 1-800 scuffed up here, you have a barcode here, you have uh, just, you know, words here that I can't read because it's too small. And then you have the Misfits network and stuff here. This is framing the piece, the piece in the middle. It's framing it and it looks so good to your eyes because of how well framed it is. Wonderful, wonderful. Double clap on that one. Awesome. Oh, they have a third picture. Oh, this is custom. Oh, major points for custom. Um, I don't like the made in China though. I know, I know there's probably not many suppliers um, that aren't from China at this point, but you gotta try, right? Like, like that's oof. I like that it's stitched and it's in there and it looks so good. Metal here. Does that say Misfits? Hold on a minute. It does. That says Misfits Worldwide. No, scuffed worldwide. Super good detail, boys. That's awesome. That is how you win somebody over who is a designer with details like that. That's awesome. Never, I never would have noticed that if I didn't zoom in here. Um, okay, let's keep looking. The tag is super cool. I probably never take off this tag if I bought this though. Like I would probably leave the tag because the tag is just as beautiful as the piece. That's awesome. More details, more details on this thing. I love it. I love the details. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. The globe's the wrong way though. I would have put the globe the other way. Uh, but still, that's awesome. That is so cool. I love it. And the quality, just from what I can see, looks really, really good. Like it looks, let's see, 70%, 30%, 14 ounces. That's heavy. It's heavy duty. Uh, this is nice. This is really, really nice. At 53 euros, uh, ooh, that's a little spendy for a sweatshirt. But the quality you're getting from this is probably just like, mm, from what I can see, from what I can see. Boys, this, this one got me. This one is, this is, this is really good. This is a good piece. I would almost say a 10 out of 10. The reason I'm not going to is because I've seen a piece just like this before. This is not anything that just wows, like wows me to the point where I've never seen it before and I'm just floored, like shocked. But it definitely gets a nine out of 10 because I just like looking at it. I really like looking at this piece. And if I saw somebody in it, it would look good on anybody. I don't think this would have any issue. The color scheme, everything about this, the design, it's so good. Bravo, bravo Misfits designer, bravo. Oh, is this just the same? Yeah, it's just blue and white. Okay, this one is good. I like it. I'm not gonna go through it though, because there's no point. Uh, this is just, this is a good piece, but it's, it's just as good as this one. But this is, this gets a five out of 10. There, there's, um, there's no need to go through that. Oh, I see something on this hat. So I mentioned this before, that generic crap with this logo is really upsetting because I feel like they have something so good on with that fire tee where they have the M inside, like ugh, it's so much better. That would have looked a thousand times better here, a thousand times better. But can they, wait a minute, can they do a TM on this? I don't think they can because it's a generic shape. That doesn't matter. 
Okay, not bad. Not not bad. I know they're going for minimal. Not bad, okay? But jeez, this will look so much better with the M. Now, to the thing that I saw that I really like. Oh, Misfits, you steal my heart. I love when there's little patches on the side of my hat. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But I love that. It's a detail. I love details. I love tiny little things that you happen to find you know, uh, throughout your hat, like if the buckle on the back of the hat is, is, you know, engraved with the name of the company or something like that, like, oh, that's so well done. Much better than the first hat. Much better, just because of that. And scuffed on the back. Okay, nothing special there. But, oof, oof, you boys. And look, 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 the oranges match. The oranges match. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. This this gets this gets an eight out of ten. This is really good. All right, last piece here is the never done drugs tea. Oh, is this just like a phrase on it? Is that all this is? I listen to Misfits podcast. I've never done drugs. Funny. I'm not gonna rate this not because it's bad or anything, but I'm not gonna rate it because it's a joke and comedy is you know subjective. And I'm not gonna rate it just because like if you if you like this and you find this funny and you want to buy this like it's not then buy it. Like if you're part of the joke, buy it. I don't like that they that they have background. Like the, the I here, or not grammar, but bad uh, bad English here, where the I is not capitalized, it just bugs me. I don't know why, okay? I don't know why, it just does, but I'm not gonna rate this, all right? Overall, my, my thoughts of this store are not bad, not bad. I think the pricing is a little high, but I think that they may be getting better quality than, than what I think they're getting. Because otherwise this, this price would be outrageous if this was what I it would, like Gildan. Like this would be outrageous, but I don't think it is. I think these are very high quality sweatshirts. I think they know what they're doing. That is my review of the Misfits store, which is called Scuffed Dot Store. If you guys like this video, if you guys uh, if you guys like the Misfits, I'll actually link them below. Uh, I'll give them a, I'll give them a little little uh, little link to their to their podcast because it's it's kind of funny to watch sometimes. But yeah, if you guys like what you saw, uh, leave a like. If you if you want to just see more of this kind of stuff, yeah, go ahead and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below about uh, who you want me to look at next. And and I'll look at I'll, I'll look at all the comments and just see who who kind of wins that argument there because this is kind of fun. I actually enjoy not tearing into other people, but kind of deconstructing design and kind of showing you uh, showing you guys and showing myself you know and it helps me too it helps me really realize what what about design i like and uh and what i don't so go ahead let me know who you want to see next until next time guys take care